camping by the ocean. And suddenly, we see a mermaid on a turtle next to a penguin. Naples shells. I collect them when I go to Florida. This one's really pretty. Look at this one. Mama wants to go to the beach so bad. Okay, so um, let's see. My sister left and she had to go back. She had therapy this morning and she's gonna go home. I have to go to work right now because I have actually a couple of referrals, quotes that I need to do over there. I have to pick Thomas up at two. We have a saxophone lesson at three and it's a two hour sax lesson. So yeah, it's gonna be two hours. So I might go sit in Starbucks with my laptop for two hours. John's back, so that's good, but I just have a, I, I, my, my mind is racing at 5,000 miles an hour. Uh, and Henry's depressed because Heather left and he knows, and he knows that I have to leave and go to work. He knows. You're okay, honey. <laughs> I hate that. Cold and raining out on top of all of that. So my, my pain level yesterday, I was very sick from fibromyalgia. I know I know it's been a bad flare week and I've been just kind of trying not to talk about it too much and trying to just do the right things, you know, eat the vegetables, drink the water, rest. I have pain in my entire body because that's just part of what fibromyalgia is. It's a pain syndrome. And as much as you try to like feel good and try to focus and do all of these things that are helpful, the reality is once it flares, it flares. And this one is a bad one. This one started last weekend and has been continuously plaguing me. I'm very busy and my brain is very motivated and I'm, I feel happy. I have, I have a lot of stress and a lot of problems, but I feel happy because money stress and medical bill stress and mortgage bill stress, all that. While it is anxiety provoking, it doesn't make me depressed. Isn't that weird? I'm one of those weird people. I get anxiety from it. Just man, what gets me depressed is my pain and my inability. And, and I'm trying really hard not to let it affect my mental state of mind. And it does because it's there in my face every day, you know. I'm excited about graduation. Look at this. Excited about Thomas's recitals and concerts that are coming up. Working on Daniel's swim therapy, but of course the healthcare thing going on with the government is like freaking me out. Anyone who relies on Medicaid <laughs> the way we do, I don't know, it's crazy. I'm very political minded, so I apologize if a proponent of this thing that my favorite senator calls a moral abomination. It's scaring me and I, I'm political because I have a person in my home whose health care costs are triple our entire home costs and yeah they're gonna phase it out, they're gonna put block grants, they're gonna put caps on it, they're gonna freaking squeeze it down and you know eventually there, it won't exist anymore. So what are we supposed to do then? I don't really know. I, it's very undefined and strange. What does that even mean? When they say it by 2020, they're gonna phase it out. It means eventually people won't be covered. 
So I pretty much feel like most of the people with disabilities that I know who have children with disabilities, at least in our state, are covered under some form of Medicaid, a Medicaid waiver, or they're on regular straight Medicaid because they really, really sad. But we have to fight back and be strong, stay positive, and just, just stay positive. I don't know. If you're interested in my political rants, you don't have to watch me here, but you can sign up for me on Twitter where I do my mo Twitter is my like political place because I don't really like to get people upset because everyone has their own opinions about things. It's a, if you want to follow me on Twitter because you have similar views and you want to share with like-minded people, th go there. If, if you're a Trump advocate, I, I, I'm just encouraging you not to go there because there's some often some, you know, negative stuff that gets posted there. Uh, so, I apologize for that. In advance, because I love all of you. I think everyone has a right to their own opinions and the right to their own feelings and a right Sometimes to their own Sometimes something freaks us out and gets us upset and we have this beautiful thing called social media to share and say, hey, I'm really upset and I need your support. I am very, very worried and very concerned. So... Keep that strength going. I love all of you. I do. Life is beautiful and life is fleeting and we need to make the best of it while we can. All right, I am going to go out on this pouring, miserable, nasty, rainy, awful Friday. You know, keep it kind. Keep it nice. Keep it loving. Supportive. But keep it positive because that's kind of important too. outside of Thomas's saxophone lesson and uh, he's got a two-hour lesson so I'm gonna go take a ride I don't really feel like doing but I don't want to sit in them I don't want to go in there I'm you know Thomas doesn't like me to listen to his lessons and I respect that but they're in a studio that's underneath a private house so all right so I lied I walked around and now I'm gonna try on all of this Just for fun. I don't even know if I'm buying these. Okay. Zebras. I'm at a store called Torrid. I just feel like it. I just feel like trying on things. These shorts are like the ladies. Sarah's graduation. Isn't that pretty? Okay. I might get this one. That was crazy. I did not expect a shop. But I found just the cutest outfit. The black top with the lacy dressy shorts. Which if it's hot out, I'm gonna wear it to Sarah's graduation. Um, if not, I'll wear the top with a pair of slacks, but it was just too cute and I needed something to make me feel better after my anxiety day. But now I'm five minutes late picking Thomas up from his sax lesson, so I better hurry up. So I'm really excited. I got something in the mail today that's very, very exciting. It's my first ever t-shirts. Merchandise for the channel. 
check it out. That's the logo, our logo, my logo. And it says Finding Joy on the Journey. And it's really nice cotton. It's very soft. And it says soup. And I got I got it in white. And your regular t-shirt with the I don't really love the round necks. I like the V-necks, but I like these sometimes. You're laying on Sarah's t-shirt. I should have got you a t-shirt. Do you want a channel t-shirt too? For, for, for our channel? That fits a doggy? Do you think they have your size? Do you want me to ask them? I'm very excited about this, you guys. So these were for sale in the month of April. And I had two campaigns going. One of them didn't sell enough because you have to sell five t-shirts and then it stays open a little bit longer, but it only stays open for a certain amount of time. And a certain amount of funds get sent back to, it's like a, it's like a fundraising campaign. So the t-shirts get sold and then the, however many you sell, the amount that you get <clears throat> increases as a percentage or whatever, but I, I didn't do it really for that reason. I did it because I bought a t-shirt, well, kind of from Bonfire. Um, and I'm gonna share the link because I'm, I'm gonna open up the campaign again now that I have them uh, in May, because they're so nice for the channel and a fundraiser as well. So anyway, I'm very, very excited. They're lovely and it's like, no, sometimes it's Saturday. Sarah's coming home, I think just for a day or so. She has to get the car to go back and move her stuff. And she was a little emotional today because she's graduating from college in a couple of weeks. And yeah, it's a big deal. And she finished her internship in Manhattan. So she's no longer like working in the city and went by really fast. So always an emotional transition for anyone when they end college and move on but she's going to be coming home and moving forward into law school eventually as soon as she gets that all the administrative ends of that figured out she's got to take the LSAT she's got to find a school she has to apply for school we have to figure it all out. that's the next step in her exciting life but I can't imagine it's exciting to just like move back home but Daniel, I wanted to show you my shirt, but you oh. fell asleep. Daniel, it's a little early. Jump on his bed. Hey, look. Look at my shirt. No, 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 no leave him. I'm just kidding. You want to jump on his bed no. and film it? No, 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 jump, jump on his bed. Joy on the journey, get it? With the chair? You're not in a wheelchair. You're gonna be in a wheelchair if you don't say you like my shirt. Oh, I love it, Julie. I love it. Much better. Oh, yay, don't video me. I got you one too. You got me one too. Yeah, just you're gonna have to wear this. Oh, yeah, with Julie Hasselberger. With Let's the say John Hasselberger. No, I got you a gray one. It's without a V-neck, but you don't have to wear it. Is it a three XL? No, <laughs> no. That's a two XL. Is you? But it'll probably shrink. I don't wear it to bed. Oh, like for yeah. Nico. Yeah. I do. I love your shirt. Oh yes. Oh, I can't wait to wear it all day tomorrow. I'm gonna make. I'm turning in my my blue shirt. Henry likes it. And I'm going to. I'm going to. Stop it! What are you doing? You better. I want you to wear it to your father's house. Oh, my father's house. See what he says. Sarah likes it. Did you get her one? Yes. Good. Henry. You're so cute. Look at this guy. He's in the bed. Hi. You're so tired. Tired. 